the next few episodes we're going to learn how to use the pgp keys and how to use the pgp encryption so the question arises uh, why do we need to use the pgp right uh, so suppose uh, we have been using like you know gmail and other services to transfer files data uh, pdf images etc sometimes uh, we rely on the services which is not like we don't trust uh, actually we don't trust their encryption secondly second reason could be we need extra layer of security or the third reason is we are using the service which does not provide an encryption in that case we have to manage it ourselves and that's what i want to teach you today i want to teach you how do you manage the encryption yourself rather than relying on some third party services uh, so at least you have a confidence that the whatever data that you are sharing with your receiver is actually secure so the typically how the encryption works we we all know however what i want to do is i want to show you like you know some uh, give you some quick introduction on on what's the encryption and how it works and then i'll also show you uh, how to create this key pair and how to store it and and then how to uh, share with someone and how to send the encrypt the files using this key pair that you have generated and then how to decrypt the file etc also show you how to sign the data so you can verify uh, like you know the receiver can verify the 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 sender and also how do you verify as a receiver the signature of the of the incoming file so you're going to learn all of this in this uh, next few episodes uh, please hit the thumbs up button it's just going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to be helpful a lot and uh, please subscribe for weekly episodes if you haven't already all right so let's get into it uh so first thing first what is the pgp so it's a pretty good privacy encryption and and what it uses it uses the asymmetric encryption don't worry if you don't know what's asymmetric and symmetric i'll i'll give you a quick introduction in in, in just a few minutes now pgp encryption you can use to uh, share the file securely uh, maybe email text pdf images uh, like you know all sort of files you want to share you can also with the pgp you can sign and verify the integrity it it offers like pretty good algorithm uh, for encryption and also the key size uh, has been pretty good i'll also discuss like you know what's the key size because sometimes uh, in the interviews you will be asked like why do you prefer this key size over this and which is very like you know a uh, question like everyone prepares what's the encryption how the keys and etc but no one knows like what key size to be to be chosen and why you need to choose particular key size and then lastly we'll see how it works so first off let's talk about like you know quickly what symmetric encryption now the symmetric encryption is where you have the sender and receiver using the same key for encryption and decryption now i think you must be thinking how can uh, one use like you know same key so how it typically works is sender has some let's say plain text and it uses the secret key which is then uh, encrypt which is used to encrypt the data which is now turned to cipher text and at the decryption side the receiver will only also use the same secret key which sender had used and then decrypt the file like you know the the drawback in, in this one is you need to share the secret key somehow right otherwise uh, how would the receiver know uh, it's a secret key and you need to keep it really secret because whoever has the secret key will be able to decrypt the file or decrypt the data that you're sending so that's the uh, like you know drawback of using the symmetric now pgp is using asymmetric uh, contrary so what asymmetric is sender will have the plain text and encrypt using the public key uh and then encrypt the text and the decryption will happen using the private key by the recipient so if sender wants to send something uh it needs to have a public key of the receiver to encrypt the data and recipient obviously has their own private key to decrypt be able to decrypt the data public key can only use be used to encrypt the data not decryption same thing uh, the other way around if recipient uh, or like you know the other person wants to send data he has to request the public key of the uh, of the receiver uh, so somehow I, like if i want to share file uh, with someone right i need to have someone's public key like whoever that person is john for instance now john has 100 people who wants to share the file with him then he can like you know just open like it's a public key so it doesn't need to secure anything he can just distribute that public key to 100 people and then they can just simply use it to encrypt the data and and be sure that 
only John will be able to decrypt it because he only has access to the private key. So that's the like, you know, a good thing. And now since you notice like there's a public and private key. So there's a key pair. It's not just single key that we are using here. We are using two keys. So we are going to see uh, in the next episode, we are going to see uh, some tools, how we can generate the keys. Uh, generating the keys are, are pretty simple, but I also want to show you like, you know, how to do it, uh, keeping in mind the privacy and anonymity. So you're not just using your identity to create these keys. And also you're choosing the right key length. That's very, very uh, required because uh, like, you know, of course, if the key length is, is too low or too high, it can either affect um, uh, the performance of the, of the server or it can affect the security or like compromise uh, the security if it's too low. So you need to cho choose the right balance. Uh, so that's it from this video. If you have any question around like, you know, asymmetric, symmetric or PGP basic introduction, uh, please drop it down in the comment section. If you have any questions on any other videos or any other like, you know, topics, please put it down as well. If you have suggestion on particular topic you which you want me to cover, also please uh, let me know. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what kind of content you're looking for. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, that would be really helpful. And, and please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already and subscribe to this channel. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.